one of the main reasons behind the course is that we have such a large migrant and refugee community here that is perhaps having some difficulty being integrated into the community as a whole and we know food is such a great leveler. So we said, all right, well, let's, how could we do it? And food would be a great way of doing it. What could we put together to do that? And fortunately, here on a Thursday in Coffs Harbour is the uh, community markets. Don't cover themselves, it's all right, Pie! So we looked at the range of food that was available at the markets and how they turned that into food that they're quite familiar with. And from that, we developed a course that would say, all right, well, you know how to cook your own food. Do you know how to prepare it in a um, healthy and hygienic way so that it would be acceptable as a food outlet? Um, and using the local produce, can you recreate the sort of things that you do have at home, at home as in your own home country? Um, can you substitute some of the things that are here for things that you're more familiar with? So we looked at that and said, all right, well, let's, how can we put that all together? and turn that into a project for our students. We set up a um, small commercial kitchen facility here in the college, just really not to, not to use as a commercial kitchen, but to be able to demonstrate the sort of facilities that they would need to have if they worked in uh, this as, a, as an industry outside of um, the college grounds. Um, so they, they actually do uh, seven units of um, three from hospitality and four from business to actually give them some skills to go into uh, the cafe arena with to be able to perhaps come out with an outcome of being able to work in one of the local cafes or set up their own business. They were the theory side of the course and then because the markets are here on a Thursday we set up our cultural cafe um, and that's run every Thursday, and the groups are broken up into uh, three different groups. There were two African groups and one Burmese group, and they rotated and had a, each had a turn of um, preparing, purchasing, um, cooking, costing, serving, um, all, of their, all of that food from their own culture. The menu has changed several times during the, the course of the project itself, which is great because the variety is there. It allows uh, the students themselves to continue their education by being able to weigh those ingredients, cost those ingredients, write them all out as a menu, um, write them all out as uh, contents of their food so that from a safe food handling point of view people need to know whether it has nuts in it and what sort of oils are used. So all of that has been educational for them but with a practical outcome where we believe now they've got humongous skills to, to be able to go out there and uh, run their own business. Several um, catering opportunities have come by. We've, I think at, at this stage we've run four events one quite large one with uh, 150 participants um, at an SES forum done locally and that was that was extremely successful. There's a couple of others coming up and several of our students are actually looking at starting their own businesses now with the skills that they've gained which we're very very pleased about because that's the aim of it. They're, at the end of the day they'll, they will be able to share their culture with people in Coffs Harbour but be able to also position themselves so they can get an employment from the project as a whole. We wanted to um, uh, deliver English as well as some vocational units that would help the students out there in, in job seeking. And we've linked um, Certificate 2 in Spoken and Written English, which is a full certificate course, with seven units two oh and s units, two uh, food safety units, um, and communicating in the workplace, uh, customer service, and producing simple word processing documents. And we're also specifically teaching the vocabulary and the language and the concepts that are needed 
in these vocational units. So they've tied in quite well in some ways. Right, one, present. Um, Elizabeth one here, dancing. Present. Not only that, but the students have been learning basic video skills as part of their English course, and they've all contributed in the making of this video. I enjoy everything. I enjoy cooking, speak English, to know how to speak English good, to know how to read, learn mm -hmm. about culture, everyone culture. Mm -hmm. Oh, my future, uh, if I finish the course, I could try to do my business, mm -hmm. to open my shopping, uh, a, sto a restaurant, mm -hmm. to, to do my job. I'm being... But I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Own business or uh, how to get uh, how I want to get a job at restaurant or ca cafe cop or cafe shop shop. Yeah. I love the way the old teacher been teaching and the, how they explain the things. And also they are happy for us when they teach us and we understand a lot. And then with the teacher talking about the food safety, I learning about food safety and handling food. I'm enjoying the course. I'm feeling uh, happy because I learned a lot of things about uh, about. Uh, the course who can help uh, not uh, for the cooking but uh, can help uh, uh, me for my future uh, to be in Australia. Uh, also, uh, with that course, I uh, have opportunity to to, to talk uh, with other other people, other community. And we talk to the customers and how. The food tastes like they say very good and sometimes good. So I'm very happy in the future. I like to cook. I like to cook. <laughs> so in the future, maybe I can have my restaurant. <laughs>